welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back so today as you can tell by the title of this video i am coming to you with two different hauls one from ulta and one from bath and body works bath and body works had a little sale that i really needed to get a few items from and ulta had a few items that i wanted to get as well and so I went on ahead and picked up some items online and I do have two Sephora hauls coming up for you soon. As soon as my shipments come in, I will be uh, creating videos for those as well. But let's jump right into what we have today from Bath & Body Works and Ulta. So first up, we got three items from Tree Hut. We have the Vanilla uh, Shea Sugar Scrub. We also have the Peach Sorbet Sugar Scrub. Sugar Scrub. And we also have the Watermelon shea sugar scrub so the reason why i purchased three of these is because well let me say this i already have one of these but i wanted a backup one it smells so good it is divine um i never had the vanilla to try so i wanted to try that and i've seen the watermelon at um target but i just never picked it up so i picked it up on ulta all three of these items were on sale so i was able to pick them up at a discounted price plus i used my rakuten um i went through rakuten to purchase so i was also able to get a little bit more cash back off my purchase and i'll link my rakuten information down below if you want if you're interested in it right this is not a sponsored video but rakuten is just a way for you to get some cash back on everything you purchase and so I don't believe in just spending money without getting some kind of some kind of benefit from it hello girl so <laughs> i use my cash back and then i turn around and i upload it onto my fetch rewards and get more points so i'll make sure i list that below down for you as well so anyway so this watermelon smells really divine it has it has the look of seeds watermelon with seeds in it so if you haven't tried shea, the Shea Butter Sugar Scrubs, please make sure you go out and get you some. These are really, really good for the body. They, they do really well on exfoliating the skin. I do have to tell you that I exfoliate my entire body. And so I go through one of these probably about once a month. Next, I got three items for my hair. I purchased the... Uh, Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore um, line. I purchased the shampoo conditioner as well as the leave-in con conditioner. And so this is the leave-in conditioner. All three of these items have shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Um, that's why I really wanted these. Uh, this is the shampoo, of course. And um, with this, it says that it's a sulfate-free clarifying shampoo that removes buildup with infused in hair with nourishing moisture. And that's one of the things that I really wanted. I wanted to make sure that as I'm stripping my hair, I'm also adding back moisture. Now, trust and believe, I know I'm going to strip my hair with this. I know I'm going to be adding in the conditioner. I'm going to be doing a leave-in. But I will also be using a mask on top of this to make sure that I rebuild and my, my curls pop right back they're juicy they're clumping and i don't have any issues so i want to make sure that whatever i'm taking out of my hair i'm putting that nourishment right back into it next i got the cetaphil daily facial cleanser now i have been purchasing some cleansers that you all will see in my sephora haul but i wanted to get um something that i could use every day that was really gentle to the skin it was mild and um it deep clean it says it's deep cleanse and minimizes appearance of pores without stripping skin of natural moisture it has hydroglycerin um essential vitamins such as b5 and b3 now i have very dry skin i also have sensitive skin so this is going to work perfect for me it says defends against five signs of sense of skin sensitivity which includes weakened skin barrier, dryness, irritation, roughness, and tightness. So this is one that I want to be able to use every day without any issue. And um, I believe I've used this before. I cannot remember. But I don't know if I actually used it on a daily basis. Because at that point in my life, I wasn't as... Um, protective of my skin as i am now and now that i'm in my 40s i want to make sure that i'm definitely protecting my skin and taking care of it the last items that i got from um ulta are three makeup items so the first one is a re-up this is the um 
<clears throat> excuse me, the brow pencil in Espresso. This is my all time favorite brow pencil. The one behind this is going to have to be, um, so this is NYX. So the one behind this is, uh, Morphe and behind that, believe it or not, is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Be is, yeah, Anastasia. So, but this is my all time favorite. Not only is it cheap, but girl, it does the job. I'm wearing it now. And so I try to keep two or three of these in my um, collection at all times between this and my Morphe brow pencils. The next thing that I got is the Thicket Stick It, and this is the uh, brow mascara. This is my first time trying this. I'm hoping that I'm going to like it. Um, I noticed that, uh, for some, I was like, dog, I know I did my brows. I'm sorry, I saw my dog on my patio. Hold on. Okay, he went to go lay down. Yeah, I had to double check because Hawks be like, yo, you put me outside and I'm gonna destroy something. We ain't got time for that. So anyway, so this is, um, it's like, you know you do your brows and then all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. So I've been using the Morphe mascara and it has done wonder, wonders. So I wanted to try this one um, to see if I like it and therefore I can make a decision on which one I'll keep buying. The last thing that I got is this um, Sweet Cheeks Matte uh, Powder Blush. It is supposed to be a creamy to powder blush. Um, this is in the color Bang Bang. You guys, this is my second time um, recording this video. So I've already tested this out and now I can't get it open for some reason. What the heck is going on? So this is what it looks like. And you can see why I've tested it out already. It's very, it's not that creaminess that I'm used to. It's a powder creamy. Um, this is what it looks like on the finger. And this is what it looks like on the skin. It comes off to me a little ashy, but um, we'll try to see it. You know, we'll try and see. I don't knock anything until I try it. So I'm definitely gonna try it and see if I like it. Worst case scenario, I can probably layer it or just give it to somebody. So moving on to Bath and Body Works. So for Bath and Body Works, I had to order a few things that I needed to re-up on. The first thing is going to be soap. So I got the Kitchen Lemon and this is the Cleansing Gel, cleansing gel Hand Soap. <clears throat> there you go. I don't know if y'all can even see that, but this, I got this one, one, because it matches my kitchen. You guys know if you saw my spring video for my kitchen um, uh, makeover, uh, the, this is basically the color of the, that white and green, all of that matches. And so this goes perfect with my kitchen. I do have a lemon tree right next to my sink. So I thought that this would be beautiful. And I've had this scent before. It smells really good. And um, I just like it overall. Um, I like the aesthetics of the bottle. And so I want to make sure I got it. The next one is called a Garden Garden Thyme. Garden Time, sorry. Um, this is also another uh, gel cleansing soap and this bottle is green, so it will also be going in my kitchen. The next one I got is called White T-Shirt. This one is um, fragrance notes of crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. I figured I would probably put this in either the downstairs bathroom or Xavier's bathroom. And then the last one is called White Oak and Vanilla. This has fragrance notes of sweet vanilla cream, white oak, and warm amber. Again, this will probably be downstairs in the downstairs bathroom, upstairs in Xavier's bathroom, or on my husband's bathroom sink. So one or the other, somebody's gonna have it, but um, either way, it'll go between the two bath, the three bathrooms, but definitely between Xavier or the downstairs bathroom. So I already opened the box and I'm missing one of my hand soaps, but I did get a hand soap made by Dark Knight. It's called Dark Knight. It smells so good. It's already in my purse, so sorry. 
but I do also have this one. This is the Sleep Hydration Body Cream. I'm gonna be going out of town next week and I figured this would be perfect to put in, um, to take with me as a travel for when I put my lotion on when I get out of my shower at night. And then I also have the Stress Relief, which is another, another Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. And um, this is one of my favorite lines from Bath and Body Works and this is just to be another purse one um, or if, or if it needs to go in the car or something like that. Um, but I wanted to have some, I really truly wanted to have some um, hand lotions that I could put, keep with me because there are times I'd be like, dang, I'm ashy. Hand lotion. Oh, you guys, I forgot one soap. So this is Endless Weekend, and this is Sunkissed Magnolia Fresh Orange and Coconut Water. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So again, this will be between either the downstairs or an upstairs bathroom. So next we're gonna go in with um, some of my favorite um, body washes that I had to re-up on. Um, so we're gonna start with the first one, which is of course the Stress Relief. This is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is my all-time favorite. I'm sure so many people use this. A lot of people probably don't like it, but I love the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I try to keep this in my, um, my body wash stash. And crazy thing is, you guys are probably like, I thought you said you weren't gonna buy anything you didn't need. Guess what? I'm down to one body wash. One. So this sale came on time and your girl read up. So hopefully this will last me until the sale at the end of the year and then I can read up again. So um, again, this is the Stress Relief Body Wash and um, it has the essential, eucalyptus essential oil which clears the mind and experiment oil which soothes and uplifts. So got that one. Then I also try, am going to try this Simply Unwind. It is the Sandalwood Vanilla Body Wash. Um, this is from the Aroma line. And uh, let's see. It's blended aroma of sandalwood essential oil and vanilla absolute to, absolute to decompress and recent to create it as a reminder to enjoy life's simple moments, mellow out, and simply unwind. So I'm looking forward to using it. And the bottle, of course, looks like this. And so, uh, I want to know what this one smells like. Oh, no, girl. It's kind of got a lemony smell. I don't smell vanilla. <coughs> I, I smell it, but I don't smell it. So, anyway... We'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll get my husband. Okay. So I read up on the fairy tale um, body wash. I got two of them. This is one of my favorite scents. Also, this has fragrance notes of pomegranate, nectar, fresh orange blossom, and vanilla bean and warm amber. These are two. This is an amazing body wash. It smells so good. I love it. I ran out of this about a month ago and I was praying that they had this. There's another one that I love called Fall and Bloom or Bloom and Fall and they no longer carry that. And when I looked for it online, couldn't find it, I was just like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm hoping it comes back at the end of the year because that was one of my favorite scents also. But I got two of these because I love this body wash. Um, and again, I layer my body washes. I use the Dove, um, no scent Dove, and I layer it with whatever type of Bath and Body Works that I would like to use that night. I got the Into the Night. And that's, I'm sorry, I told y'all Dark Night, it was Into the Night um, lotion. But I got Into the Night body wash. This has fragrance notes of Raspberry Noir. Um, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy pat patchouli, and mocha musk. So, say all that three times. But, it smells really good and I like it. And so, I'm, this is my first time having this one as a body wash. Um, and so, I wanted to add it to my stash. 
and um yeah i love anything that has like that amber anything with warm amber and woody notes i'm all for it so i don't like fruity fruity but i do love that that vanilla ambers type scent so you won't see me with fruity fruity but and i like eucalyptus too so the last one that i got is uh breathe deep it's also eucalyptus and lavender i already have one of these so this is a re-up this is the one that i have that's the last one and so this is also another re-up because i'm about to use the other one this one says that it is um it's used to um ultimate in the ultimate steam room breathe deep and enjoy a moment of me time so and this helps to uh cleanse without drying and it leaves skin feeling clean and refreshed now i can say without a doubt that this is a this one i use when i'm doing when i'm using my um dr dr teal's um body scrub as well as um their um oh man i have to put it on the screen y'all um but especially if i'm taking a hot bath once I got the bathtub, I jump in the shower and I use the body scrub and I use this and oh, uh, it just, it's like when you're having a long day at work and you're tired, you need that glass of wine. Love it. So that is all I have for you today. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope that you all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to make sure that you leave me a thumbs up as well as hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. And uh, let me know what you're buying out there. Like I said, I have two more shipments coming in and they're both from Sephora. Um, all these items are things that I truly needed. And so it is what it is. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye.